Okay, we're going to be working on part 126-4-54, part E. It's what you see right here. Um, it's going to be in the English, and we're going to, or Imperial. We're going to look at some of these things here. We'll notice that it is a 4.40 square that's rotated on a 45-degree angle around um, the center hole right here. That is a diameter 188. There is a bolt pattern right here that's uh, four times uh, a diameter 0.7 that's on a four inch diameter bolt circle. There are the corners on this right on the, the left and right are a radius of 0.88, but there are flats on the end that are 0.6 from the center of that circle. So um, now that we've got that figured out, we'll go ahead and go over here to, to AutoCAD. We'll start a new drawing. I'm going to go ahead and start by making the circle the center circle there, which the diameter was uh, 1.88. And <clears throat> um, we'll go ahead and uh, add another uh, circle there that has the diameter of uh, 4. All right. That gives us the opportunity to do a circle and go ahead and put one on this quadrant point right up here. And that diameter is 0.7. All right, we can then do copy that all the way around, or we can do a polar array right there. Specify the center point, that one. I'm going to change this to 4, and then we'll close the array. All right, so we've got that part of it done. Now we've got to worry about the square that goes around there. Now this is going to be the easiest thing to do. We're going to go ahead and click line, which since it's and hit F8 to turn the ortho on, go 4.4 .4 down. Go 4.4 .4 to the left, I mean to the right. Go up 4.4 and then C to close. We're also just going to go ahead and click line and create a line left click all the way there left uh, that goes across this. Now before we put it onto this, onto this we need to rotate it. So we're going to rotate it around this midpoint. Shift right click and get that midpoint right there. We're going to rotate it 45 degrees and that make, puts it in the direction that we want it. So then we can just click on move and we'll move that and these two pieces right here from shift right click the midpoint of that over here to that center point there. All right, this is no longer useful to us. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of it. So we'll just erase that there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is click on fill it, uh, and we're going to change that radius, which is zero. We're going to change that to 0.8, and make or put a fill it radius on those. Repeat that. All right. Last part we've got to worry about is the flats on the top. So we're just going to click a line that goes from that center point. And since the ortho is on, we'll put that there. Now, what we can do is we just kind of drew that out there. So I'm going to move this line from, say, the midpoint back here to that center point there. Then we can, <clears throat> um, we can move that line now. We'll move it straight up that distance that we wanted to go, the point 0.6 there. Um, go ahead and trim this off. Oops, let's get that. Oops, let me try that again. Trim, right click, click those little pieces there to get rid of that. I'm going to do a mirror command. Click that line right there, right click. Ortho's on, so I'll move this to the side. Delete the original object, no. And then I'll click trim, right click, and click those off of there. So then we're good. Um, I'll double click the mouse wheel. I'm going to save this as 126-4-54E. Um, save that, and then I'll go back up to plot. Oops, can you do it? That's fine. Um, go to plot, and I'm going to DWG to PDF. I'm going to create extents, center, preview. And that's exactly what you want. So that's what we're going to save and put in the blackboard. All right, we'll move on to the next one here in just a second.